It's a hip. Oh no, it's a gorilla. <gasps> Elephant. <laughs> Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. Here's the new camera. We are having growing pains because today is the first day that we're able to like actually play around with it. P.S. It's Monday. I took off work actually to rest up more um, and to make sure that I am good. I don't need to go to a doctor or anything after the Chicago Marathon. So, new camera. Hope it looks better. Hope it looks, sounds good and looks great. Um, you'll see, I think it's here. I see it, but maybe you guys won't see it as much as much as Sarah as I would or other people who do video is we've got some vignetting because we have an adapter on which is a little like dark corners because of the lens being further away from the body because of the adapter. Also, Sony, I don't know if it's Sony or if it's Canon, but all of the major adapters advertise that you can have autofocus on the adapters, which is true asterisk. We've now realized that the autofocus is only enabled on the adapters for photo. It does Sony's fancy eye tracking and everything in photo. But when you switch to video, it the camera disables the ability to autofocus. So this is now manually focused on this lens. So we have to figure out what we want to do. Sarah jokingly said it was like, yeah, but we can get really good at manual focusing stuff. So bear with us um, as we use the camera for video. If you ever see it go out of focus a little bit, we're just trying to figure out if we're going to use this camera in that capacity and then research. Um, like it makes me want to think we're going to like sell this nice lens to get a Sony version or something of like that. We got a game plan. We were just making this discovery like 10 minutes ago because we didn't know if it was like we had put the mount on wrong or all these different things. And then we literally found one of our favorite YouTube camera review guys talk about this like this style of adapter and how it's basically built into the programming of the camera to disable the video autofocus and this rig is really heavy after this two minute intro. Catching it and it smacked Teddy in the gut. <laughs> He's like, <"Huh." laughs> What's Jamesy doing over there? He's making a fort, I think. He's about to put all the small people into the Dhaka Tap and it's the cutest thing ever. You can probably tell that this quality is not as good as the first clip. Um, we're gonna reevaluate the camera situation. We're, I mean, there was no way for us to know everything online said that what we bought would work and that the autofocus would work. Um, but that little detail that now we're here with the video is quite intentional. Um, so we're, we're gonna figure out whether we get a different camera, a different lens, but for now, we're just gonna be on, on phones again. <laughs> We named Teddy after Ted Lasso. <laughs> <laughs> we're giving this show a shot because we were doing a whole lot of nothing today. Two. Uh, James is dancing out because Disney Plus added two of the unreleased episodes to season three in the U.S. So we're going to watch them now before dinner. Also, he was the one who's capitalizing the most on our resting day. So we said it's a lazy day. We're not going grocery shopping. We're not cooking or anything. So we ordered Chipotle and we're like, hey. I was like, I'll go pick that up. It's not a big deal for me to hop into the car. I just will take my time until I get outside and realize that we parked the car a bit of ways away from the apartment so that Jenna could park in our parking spot. So uh, I just had to walk a little bit to the car, which is not what I planned, but I have my UFOs on, so. Not gonna lie, that felt like a workout, but I think it's overall good. 
to get at least, uh, not probably good for the left foot, but good for like the muscle system in my leg. Yeah, that Achilles isn't liking that walk we just did. Okay, so I'm going to pick up Chipotle now. Um, just a chill day. Um, recovering. I'm amazed at how good like the upper part of my body feels right now compared to last night and this morning. Um, I was very sore. Like I was locking up even my shoulder blades, which has never really happened before. I'm not sure what that was about. I probably should have not trying to get too like starry eyed about some goals. I kind of want to set for dopey this upcoming January, but I kind of have some in my mind that I want to get to. I just don't know with it becoming the tundra here in the coming weeks in Chicago, if it's realistic because I don't want to go back to Planet Fitness or a treadmill and it'll be difficult to train with the goals that I kind of want to set for Dopey Weekend. So for a later date, I think it's still too little too, too raw in the emotional field right now thinking about the endorphins coming off Chicago Marathon, but it was a truly incredible race. Sarah and I were talking about the vlog and how like it didn't feel as like Eureka as other race vlogs, but it was just a dang good race in a dang good city. As that's what the vlog is. It's the greatest marathon in the greatest city, and that's what it was. I went faster than I really anticipated for the first like 14 miles, and I was just not checking my phone for pace, not checking the clocks. I was just running on feel, enjoying the city, enjoying the vibes. I didn't listen to music until like mile 15 or 16, just feeding off the energy. So I had a really, really great really really great race and so I probably could have vlogged more but I was just vibing so yeah it was a great great Chicago Marathon I can't do can't wait to do it again even Evie girl has been embracing our lazy day I was gonna go grocery shopping tonight but we decided to just have a full a full lazy day so yesterday when I got the poster board for Peter's sign they either had blue boards for a pack of 10 of white. So I had to get the white ones so that you could see the words. Sorry if this is loud. Um, but now I've just been coloring on these big poster boards and it's fabulous. It's so much fun. What's that? It's Orange Bird. It was a bummer that I had to buy 10 poster boards yesterday, but it ended up working out because James has been loving all day just coloring and I love coloring too. It's just like what part of like parenthood where you get to like enjoy the things that you enjoyed it as a kid again. Um, and honestly, like I went to art school. A lot of my projects had to do with children's art and I had my cousins like work on a lot of my projects with me. A lot of my art kind of dove into like the freedom of like kids not understanding like not trying to be like good at whatever they're making, just making with no no bounds. And so it's been really fun to do that with James. So I'm, I'm actually very, very happy that I got 10 poster boards yesterday. Here is our dinner. I got their new garlic steak salad, um, with all kinds of beans and yumminess. James, you got quesadilla, beans and rice. And I got a burrito with sofritas, double wrapped. It's like my new favorite thing to do is a double wrap the burrito. Mm -hmm. One day we'll be plant-based again. But... We're leaving plant-based life, so we're gonna do most of the time plant-based, all right? And what's more important is eating healthy stuff than focusing on plant-based, because there's a lot of plant-based stuff that's not healthy. Right. Like ultra-processed stuff. Yeah, you just wanna feel good. Yeah. Tika boom, oh, gonna get me. Gonna get me too. <laughs> <laughs> you see you? Are you looking at your brother? Been reflecting on the marathon. Me, you, or him? Me. Okay, you're you're speaking for you. I'm sale. speaking for me. Yeah. And I, I feel like I'm trying not to be like, I didn't film enough. Like I, I have that feeling of like, it wasn't up to my standards of like capturing. I didn't even say my sister was, or maybe I did say my sister was there, but I didn't say my cousin Emily came along and it was really nice and helpful. Are you all right? Yeah, it's tasty. This is, 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 this is
Oh, goodness. Jensen's uh, been doing a lot of falling today, like uh, dramatic falling. Um, but anyway, I'm just like seeing it. Whoa, you're on your eggs. Um, I've just been thinking that this was good practice for Dopey and that it is a lot of work to have the two little ones. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> and I just have to be intentional. Um, and yeah, I think, I think that's all I have to say about that. Tiggy, tiggy, teddy. Um. I think it's a good daddy. <laughs> also, we were talking that their race was truly just like a straightforward race. There was like no bells and whistles, no really low lows. They had some high highs. Yeah, for sure. But just like it was very just like solid. My goal was to have fun. And I had lots of fun. And you felt good. And you feel better today. I don't really think we mentioned that. Yeah, no, like everything above my waist feels great. Yeah. Like my chest, my back, my shoulders, my arms. Um, my feet are very much still sore. My Achilles is very stiff. But, but you've been able to walk. He took James on his stroller walk today. What's the status? What's what do this? you got? What's the status? Got the eggs. <laughs> Can you show the egg? This is still eggs. This is a egg. This is a egg. This is a egg. What's this? What's this? What's this? What? 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 Maybe it was more so me just editing that, like, I want us to have more intentional shots when we're in Dopey to really capture, like, the full energy of the day. Um, maybe I just have high standards, and now this is, like, Peter's fifth marathon. Um, and I just, like, we didn't really have, like, a storyline. It was just, like, a solid, a solid marathon. We'll give you all the storylines for Dopey. Don't you worry. <laughs> we the most dramatic vlog ever. Sub two, half. Sub five. Full. I'm not even like looking for drama. I just Sub feel four like. And a half full. What are we saying? I feel like we. I feel like for so long we were like ready for our babies to be here or ready for the Chicago Marathon to come. And like, it's just like wild to kind of be on that like. That other side where like now we just get to like relish in these moments and they're still special and like just unbelievable. Um. <laughs> But it's just like, it's different to, to feel this way. And it's good different. You got pretzels? You want one? Open. Okay, open, please. All right, our relaxing recovery day is coming to an end. It's about 11 o'clock, the kids are asleep. We're like residually exhausted, so we're gonna go to bed. And uh, tomorrow is another day. Gonna kinda try to figure out how I'm gonna roll in from recovery into new training for Dopey. So it's good to be home. Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. Good day vlogs, so if you like this video, Come back tomorrow. And you guys know how I took off work yesterday? Yes. Well, it's, it made my Tuesday very busy. It has been very busy. So I decided to take my lunch and go on the, the nappable walk with Sarah and the kids just to see them because I've been like cooked up in, in their room taking meetings all day and I've got a few more meetings left after this walk. It's so. like high 60s, kind of nice. Yeah, it's like... It sounds and feels kind of like fall, but it's not like temperature fall. Yeah. Ooh. It's a little too warm for temperature fall, but there's spider webs and decorations and turning leaves everywhere we look now. Just some real life stuff today. We are not liking the stroller nap. Peter had to go back inside to, to get back to work. And Jamesy is just fighting it. 
Teddy was asleep, but now he's awake. Um, and now we have a pretty big amount of time before Peter can help us in because of his meetings. Um, but I'm trying to just shift my mindset and just enjoy the beautiful weather, walking with my babies, um, doing my best to get into that headspace. Um, but I'll get there, I'll, I'll get there. Well, there's actually no time to shift my mindset because it's gonna start raining in five minutes. And then my phone says there's a 100% chance of rain for the next like five hours. So it's not just gonna be a little sprinkle. Um, so now I need to get back as fast as I can. We made it with no nap in sight. <laughs> Instead of a nap, I'm just gonna recharge. Watch Frozen 2 in Mama and Daddy's bed. We're taking what we can get. Sarah fell asleep on the couch a little bit ago and she is feeling wrecked. I didn't even truly really fall asleep. It was like constant like drowsiness. So it feels, I feel like sick now. Yeah, well this baby's like 100 years old now. Yeah. Also, he took a nap. He took a true nap. Yes, he did. We're also neglecting grocery shopping, neglecting cooking, neglecting. I have a whole list in my head <laughs> and a plan for food. Peter just told me that I'm too tired to go. So let's figure out what tonight looks like. Also, we might have a pending plan. With this whole camera situation, if we're gonna return the Sony, we need to kind of act sooner rather than later so that Amazon still allows us to return it. Um, so now we thought of a potential plan um, that would involve buying a replacement screen for the M50 that we still have, our, our original M50 we kept. Um, it works, the, the LCD screen just doesn't. So there's like two different ways we could replace that if I did it myself, because I have the tools to do that. And I like to think I have the skill set to do that because I used to like repair cell phones and stuff. Um, so the new thought is to buy the Sigma lens that we used to have for our Canon, buy the Sony version for our new camera, and then like that still be the primary that we will ever, if we ever invest in, when, when, not it, but whenever we invest more money into lenses, that would be for the Sony natively. So we would buy that Sigma. 16 milliliter lens, hopefully for the Sony camera. And then we'd fix the Canon M50 screen so that we could still use that Canon glass on that. And then if we ever really wanted to, we have the converter for the Sony for photos easily, which we are gonna try to be taking more photos of our family and children. So that would be really nice glass and a really nice camera to take really nice photos with the capability of doing some video if we ever wanted to manually focus it <laughs> and thus is the camera rent of the day so i pulled myself together and i came grocery shopping i'm gonna keep it simple and i don't know just like i knew i'd feel good if i got out of the house and like kind of got re-energized for the night so i'm gonna make it a quick one but i made it and teddy is with me trying this new sprouted bread everything bagels these were classics when we lived in florida because they're plant-based i think by accident um some different tips we're gonna try this pumpkin loaf which is surprisingly also plant-based those are not plant-based but those are great for jamesy for a quick snack or breakfast then just doing a small haul of fruits and veggies we got mango we got blueberries a couple of different lettuces we're gonna get some tomatoes, maybe a few different kinds of tomatoes. These are my preferred tomatoes. <laughs> I think James hears his, some, his self like echo in that corner. <laughs> so he's been coming into the kitchen and speaking into the corner. Yeah, you want some popcorn? No. I'll wait for mom and Teddy. Yeah, let's hit it. Okay, so I'm all done at Aldi. And um, Teddy's having a quick snack before we head home. He wanted out of the car seat when we were wrapping up. Have you ever felt that you were in the presence of an angel? Because um, I just had an experience. 
I really felt confident doing what I was doing with Teddy, holding him. However, this woman came up and she did not speak English and she just started helping me. And like, it was like she knew, she like read my mind. Like she like, I don't know, like knew exactly how to help me. She helped me put groceries on the conveyor belt. She helped me bag my groceries. She brought my cart out for me and she helped me put my groceries into my car and then she took the cart back like all of a sudden I was like overwhelmed like obviously I was doing everything I could myself but like just having her little bit of extra help like brought me like such a sense of peace and it was very strange like it wasn't just like oh I felt bad that somebody was helping me like usually I would be like oh no 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 I am somebody who's like over over analyzing my surroundings and um truly like I'll I know I can do things on my own and I will deny help but like I didn't even feel the need to deny it maybe I just really needed it and I I didn't realize it in the moment um but yeah I just had to like document that like experience it was I don't know, I felt like I was truly in the presence of an angel. <laughs> like, that's the only way to describe it. Um, yeah, wow, that was that was so helpful. And that was something I'll never forget. Okay, I'm coming, I'll do a little, I'll do a little haul. Pumpkin spice loaf cake, good for breakfast. Coconut cashews for snacks. Croissant pastries for breakfast. Tortillas, bread. Here's my pasta haul, spinach and gnocchi, penne, chickpea penne, fancy bucatini, fudge cookies, everything bagels, quinoa, and basmati rice. Next up are our heavy items. I got some sauerkraut, some jardinere, um, canned goods. Shoot, I forgot to get tomatoes. Um, some black beans. Um, some garbanzo beans, pepperoncinis, pesto, salsa, and this I'm excited for, holiday cheers kombucha, and a cranberry kombucha. We're getting, we're getting in the holiday spirit. I got those mint chocolate cookies too, and there's something else Christmassy in this haul. I found, I found a friend and I gave him a cookie. Okay, we got black bean chips, these sweet chili flavored rice crisps. We in the UK. Garlic knots, avocado, yogurt covered pretzels. This is mostly plant based. That's not plant based. Um, but overall, like, I think I did a really good job. Um, almond nog. This is the other Christmassy item I'm excited for. We got blueberries, we got tomatoes, we got this chopped kit. Thai and cashew salad situation. They're meatless meatballs, which I've been wanting to try forever. We've mm. been, somebody has suggested these to us almost every time we go to Aldi. Finally have those, some spinach, and tofu cubes. Our last part of the haul, fruit strips, taco seasoning, bananas, carrots, tomatoes, Boston lettuce. These look good for little lettuce wraps. More tomatoes, mango, lemon pork pot stickers yes just three brookhart boys on a bench just relaxing. <laughs> i like your green jumpsuit <laughs> so good right all right then pork pot stickers for jamesy for lunch and red peppers then this is what we're going to choose from for dinner tonight. Um, figured just something quick to eat with that crab rangoon dip. Aldi has so many good dips and they're also like the baby of Trader Joe's. Um, and so I've seen this dip a million times and haven't gotten it. And the other day we were talking about crab rangoon and I had such a taste for it. And I'm not even somebody who really even likes crab rangoon, like even when I'm not plant-based. So that was our little like treat ourselves thing for tonight easy noodles and I'm so proud of myself for going because we probably would have spent 
way too much money at McDonald's or something like that. And I'll feel, even though still indulging um, yeah, tonight, um, overall, I'm, that was worth it. It was like two hours from start to finish. One last thing, I did forget that we got their Blackberry sparkling water. Still going strong and not having Pepsi in the house. Have had a drink or two of pop in the past week, but at home, we've been strong. A clap, 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 clap. <laughs> a clap. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> We're watching some Nightmare Before Christmas because Jamesy skipped a nap today. And so he's just chilling on the couch with us, probably gonna fall asleep. Next to sleep from Teddy. <laughs> what a chillax Tuesday. All right, so Sarah and the kids have been asleep for a little bit. I folded some laundry. I'm gonna go do some dishes and go to bed myself. Been really getting into Ted Lasso. I know I'm like late to the game. See, two seasons are already out. They're talking about a third any day now. Uh, but a really good show. Worth all the Emmys, I think it won, but it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>